quick, right quick. Just in case somebody's going through this right now. Um. Uh, so, if you if you're in a relationship and you gotta beg the other person, right, or get into an unhappy mood in order for them to do the basic necessities, right, like. Uh, wash the dishes, uh, do the laundry, right? Help keep the house clean, take out the garbage. Stuff that, things that are basic, right? When you are in a union, a relationship, right? It doesn't have to be marriage, but it's just a relationship, right? Yet the person you know, can't deal, it, the person can't deal with confrontation, right? Can't deal with criticism. Uh, says to you, 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 you talk to me like a child, or you treat me like a child, right? But they act like a child. That's not where, that's not where you want to be. That's not what you want, right? That, that's, that's, a disaster, okay? You shouldn't have to beg anybody or make anybody or tell anybody to do the things that are, you know, regular tasks, regular duties, right? It's a 100% each person, not 50-50, right? That makes 100. It should be 200. 100% from one person, 100% from the other person, right? It's a dryer. The dog's ball in there. Uh, it's like a person will be like, uh, don't treat me like a child, right? Don't talk to me like a child. But they do childish things, right? And it's not that you're trying to treat them like a child or be their mom or their dad. Who wants to be that? Um, uh, but they act irresponsibly, right? They act childish, right? You, you have to damn near tell them right from wrong. When, like when they do wrong, they have no sense of, oh, that was wrong. They just, they just do whatever, they do what they like, right? Treat you how they like, talk to you how they like, and get an attitude about doing the basic necessities, right? but they'll always have their phone in their hand, face buried in their phone. Like that is a, that is a, an adult child. That's an adult child, right? And you're never gonna get, you're never gonna get even probably 10% from that person. You're not, if you do get something from that person, it's because they want something out of the deal, right? Or they want, they're acting a certain way that they usually don't act in, right? They're, <coughs> they decide to do the dishes today or take out the garbage today. More than likely, it's because they did something wrong and they feel bad about it and they're trying to do something to overcompensate for that, to make themselves feel better. Or <coughs> they're planning on going to do something wrong, right? My ex used to always give me, <coughs> give me gifts, right? Half-half gifts, give me gifts when they did something wrong, right? Or when they did something and felt bad for it, okay? Or when they were trying to butter me up in order to lie to me so they can go somewhere and do something that they planned on already doing in the first place. Like, look out for these red flags, okay? You shouldn't have to be nobody's dad, dad or mom in a relationship, you feel me? Um, if a person volunteers information to you, that you didn't even ask for, it's because they've already done it or they plan on going to do it, okay? Just a couple red flags I thought y'all should know because I was just thinking about it. My, thinking about it in my, my uh, last relationship, like this, the stuff that, I, that would happen or I would see or that I would notice that made me suspicious of this person, right? Watch people's actions and behaviors and listen to them. Listen to the words that come out of their mouth because um, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. 
right? That means whatever's on the person's heart is going to come out of their mouth one way or the other. You just have to listen and have the discernment to know what they're, to know what they're really saying, right? Okay? I just want to drop a couple of those nuggets on y'all, all right? Just in case somebody's dealing with that right now. All right? And if you are, get the hell out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there because you know what? They've got a mountain. They got a mountain of things that they've been doing. I, when I say a mountain, I mean a mountain. Like I told you, I found one of them, uh, I found my ex's phone that, that, that they had left here or whatever after I had like kicked them out. Uh, and they forgot it, didn't know I was gonna go through it. And beloved, I tell you, there was like so many things in there, so many things in there. Like I don't even know who the hell this person was when I saw the stuff I saw in there. Like when I say hope, hope, okay? Like, and you don't, you, like, ugh. you gotta be careful who you land down with these days. You gotta be careful. People don't wear protection and they're just free with their body. They're free with their body, right? And they'll bring you back anything without a damn care in the world, okay? So be careful. Don't matter how much you love a person, don't mean that person feels the same way about you, okay? Don't be, do not give, in this day and age, do not give people the benefit of the doubt. I just made a, a, a video talking about a, Trust only God. Trust only God. Y'all seen the Shanquilla situation, right? This is the realist the, the the this is realistic for relationships these days. Like for real. People are not loyal, they're not faithful um, anymore. And they're for everybody. Look at these shows, loving hip hop and all these marriage boot camp and all this stuff. This is why this generation's like that. Because they think it's cool. They think it's cool to hop from bed to, from pillow post to bed. It, it's, I mean, bed post to pillow, you know what I mean. Protect yourself, beloved. Protect yourself, all right? Because these Negroes is out here trying to ruin people's lives, okay? If a person don't care about themselves, right, they ain't gonna care about you. Not a, not, not one bit. All right? All right. Love y'all. Don't ignore the red flags. All right, please.